And welcome to the strategy guides. We are. Uh, um, I can adjust the the um. I have. Okay. Uh, control setup. ABC mode. Accept. Okay. So this is our let's play quickie of Vector Man. This is just a little secret here. You can control him on the title screen. Oh, that's cool. Blue Sky Software. They still around? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Come to think of it, I think I researched that the other day. Yeah. Vector... Vector Man! If you couldn't tell, this game is balls. It's balls to the walls and awesome awesomes. Start game. It's 2049, and Earth's cities, forests, and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to, to the, the stars, stars, leaving mechanical, mechanical orb bots, bots to, to clean, clean up. up. Okay, I have two things to say about this. First of all, clear connection with Fantasy Star 2 here, kind of. And sec- so that explains why you wanted to play this game. Yes. Second of all, this is the plot of Wally. Except that Wally was trash, not sludge. Oh uh, yeah, that's mm. true. One powerful Orbot, Raster, Vector, Raster, GET IT, IT'S A PUN, yeah. oversees the cleanup through a planet-wide comnet. Tragedy strikes when, in error, <laughs> attendants connect a salvaged nuclear bomb to Raster's master control circuits. How do you mess that up? Wait, wait, wait. They connected a nuclear bomb to Raster's master control circuits? Yes. What? <laughs> Warhead is born, and he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression, like any generic villain with no defining traits. By Warhead's decree, Earth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Except they're off being assholes in the all solar system, so they're probably not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun, unhindered by evil mind can... Wouldn't it be reprogramming? He's a robot. Yeah. He will not rest until Warhead is defeated and the Earth is again free. Oh, the game has started! Day one, Terraport. Let's bust up some TVs. Shinies. Photons. Man, that flag looks amazing. Yes, I know. This game was uh, Sega's answer to Donkey Kong Country. Pretty much everything Sega and Nintendo did back in the day was just countering each other, blow for blow. And this is and this is why that generation was awesome. Spreadshot. Yeah, all the weapons you get don't last forever. Oh. Yeah. Boost jump. By the way, if you hit enemies with the uh, thrust coming from your boost jump, you'll do an amazing amount of damage, killing a lot of enemies in one hit. Can't really be used against most bosses in this game, unfortunately. It's a wibbly wobbly, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, there. See, that was the weapon running out of juice. It's timed. Huh. Spinny spinny shield. Yes. Oh, crap. Makes me think of the balls that circle around you in Shantae. Yeah. Oh, there's the wiggly wobbly thing again that you'll destroy. Times two! It's a bunch of things. Uh, they look actually like some type of mosquito. <laughs> ah, okay. You were standing on nothing. You're standing on lots of nothing, actually. Oh, got him with the boost jump. Could you explain why you're standing on <laughs> you were able to stand uh, on nothing? There's invisible platforms in the game. Oh, okay. Dang. Two, two one-ups. Oh, the times two item I have in uh, multiplies everything that I pick up by two. Obviously. This, um... So, I wonder how they made this game. It's really impressive. Uh, they basically use the same technological feat that Rare used for Donkey Kong Country. Pre-rendered 3D models turning into sprites. Oh, hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the Genesis wasn't really limited to not being able to do that. 
Well, the, the Genesis was pretty darn powerful for its time. I still personally think the Super Nintendo was stronger, but I am actually starting to somewhat doubt. I know it had a better sound chip. I don't think anyone would argue that. Okay, I got a good look. Yeah, they look like either mosquitoes or birds, the shape of them. Ah, there's a thing up there. <laughs> there's a thing up there. Whatever. Ah, <laughs> morph modes. That's what makes this game awesome. Die, fellow sludge pilot. They don't look like you. Yeah. Ah. That times three also multiplies the health pickups. Normally that would give me one health, but it gives me three because I have a times so, three. So, uh, I was researching, uh, Ve the, uh, cancelled Vector Man game from Mike the other day, and apparently, um, they just weren't really satisfied with the results they were getting. It just seemed to become a generic shooter. It was just really sad. I mean... You could do a 3D Vector Man game easily just by basically copying Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, that's true. Whoa. Make it rain! <laughs> I'm a bomb. I hadn't even noticed the super epic cloud animation in the background. Oh, and here we find a permanent health upgrade. There it... I... How many of these are they again? Uh, well, I know where all of them are. That's the important thing. Oh, your shots look so cool. Actually, they look like giant snowflakes. If you notice, what I'm shooting at times almost looks like the little thingies I'm collecting. Let it snow, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, gosh. Uh, I didn't see. even notice time. Ah! There we go. Time pickup. Nice. If I wanted to explore this level more fully, I could do that. I love how these guys fall apart. I need that. Let me guess, you fall apart. Eh. You fall you fall yes, apart. Yes, if you lose a life. And then and boost jump! Ha! <laughs> Still got it. And got all my health. Hey, really? He Bolo really? shot. This goes through enemies. Oh, the camera's panning. It's time for a boss battle! Oh, whoa, whoa. My sludge barge is trying to kill me! Oh, gosh. Is that the, that's the thing you came out of? Well, a sludge barge. May not be mine. This is a spaceport, after all. So, this guy, I'd say this guy is like a more badass Wally, but uh, this came out a long time before Wally. Yeah, so Wally's just a more lame version of him. Did you know that the original concept for Wally happened the same day they came up with the concept for Toy Story and Bugs Life? Oh. Yeah, they, uh, the people at Pixar actually got together at a cafe and they had a long talk about movie ideas. Of course, it took them a lot longer to get to Wally than Toy Story and Bugs Life, obviously. And maybe Wally was actually inspired by this. Maybe one of the people on the project played this game and was like, "We could do something like that." Yeah. Well, th well, that part didn't last long. Yeah, that is a type of a gimmick level which really feels more like a bonus level. Hey, than a you're level. underwater, or under. I'm assuming that's water. Uh, full health pickup, and yes, that is water. Okay. And this is probably the best music in the game. Too bad I can't hear it! Yeah... I could turn it up if you wanted to... No. I've heard it enough. Yeah, it's true. You've, you've practiced and stuff. Yep. Those permanent health upgrades are not in every level. They're only in very specific levels, and are usually the hardest power-up to find in most cases. Uh, the first one is kind of a freebie, comparatively speaking. I know that the Cap Attack wasn't really a quickie. It was, well, it was kind of a quickie, but it was more like a holiday quickie. Yeah. Um, but what is up with you doing, you just keep doing quickies of uh, Genesis games. And Genesis games on the collection as well. Um, 
It just happens. It just happens. Originally, I was going to do uh, Iridion 3D, but when I thought about the twist ending of Fantasy Star 2, I was like, I could tie this in. I like being able to tie in what I'm doing to what I'm doing with more of what I'm doing, and I'm killing things, and I'm more now more awesome than Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> I was already uh, more awesome than Echo the Dolphin. He looks kind of cute <laughs> doing that. Wee. You know what's more awesome than Echo the Dolphin? On guard! On guard the swordfish! You can jump on things to kill them. Why well, actually, I don't noise? jump on them. If I just jump on an enemy normally, like that, I'll take damage. But that little thrust that comes out of me, the thrusters hurt the enemies. Huh. It's kind of like how the fire from Eggman's or Robotnik's machines in Sonic 3 will actually hurt you if you don't have a shield. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's kind of that... It's that rare we... Weird? Real... That rare, real-world, uh. like stuff that doesn't usually always make it into video games. Uh, don't worry, when it comes with the word rare, I mess up a lot too when adding other words to it. And we talk about rare quite a lot considering the games we were playing. Oh uh, yeah. Bombs away! Bomb voyage. And now we're talking about Pixar. <laughs> Which, there's nothing wrong with that, because Pixar is amazing. They are. Pixar are amazing, they're amazing. I used oh, a bomb eyes. to get a bomb. I swear, first the mother brain, now this. <laughs> my eyes are going to be nothing after all this. Oh, that thing died. Yeah, everything's dying. Everything's doing a good job of dying in this game. Except Ooh, for you. Titans 10. You're doing a good job of not dying. Uh, you were saying? Oh my gosh, what are the odds of that? <laughs> you go through, we've been playing this for over 10 minutes, and the second I say, you've been doing a good job of not, and you're dead. It's like, and it's gone. <laughs> This is one of those games where it's like, you can go through an entire playthrough of not dying, and then on your very next playthrough, you don't really... Uh, I'm not saying, like, you'll die a lot, it's just... <laughs> You're getting pushed all over the place. Yeah. Oh, you have a really long invincibility time when you get hit, which is one of your saving graces. Okay. I need to go into focus mode here. You need to focus. You need to hunch over and get closer to the TV. No. That's serious mode. Whatever. You just leave the talking to me. Yes. And you focus and not die and stuff. Ow! And I'm just gonna stop talking about dying because I think I'm jinxing it. Oh, you notice those enemies, you shoot them and they... You pop their bubbles. My bubbles! Bubbles! Fucking bubbles! Ah! Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 You are not killing me again! Yeah. This time. I've got plenty of lives. Yes. And if I need to, this is the Genesis Collection, I can save state. Yes, it appears that you have eight lives. Or is this one of those games where zero counts as a life? Actually, no, it doesn't. Oh. But I like those games! <laughs> I do too. I don't, I don't really know what those blue things do. I think they just add to your score or something. The red ones give you more time. I've never cared about score in video games. More score means more lives. Oh. Score... getting points Well, that's back. just bizarre, to be honest. I, well, I mean, you get extra lives for getting... But, yeah, but it's kind of weird. In most games, it's like, you get 100 or something, and there, here's an extra life. And this one, it's score? Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, score can give extra lives in other games, too. Oh, that's right. It gives lives in uh, Pac-Man and stuff. And in Gradius, and... 
I don't care if it's supposed to be pronounced Gradius. I always called it Gradius. I always oh, will it's call it. it's supposed to be pronounced Gradius? That sounds so weird. I've heard people pronounce it Gradius. Gradius. That's silly. Marty Gradius. <laughs> uh, Marty Gradius. Marty! We've got to go to the Marty Gradius! Doc, you just don't walk in and... <laughs> And get a Vic Viper. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vic Viper. That was what um, that was what Aaron was playing the other day in Game Grumps. A show that totally doesn't exist. Right? Stop that. <laughs> I mean, that would just be Mark. You talking about that would be like walking into you know a subway and then seeing an advertisement for Quiznos. Actually, that can happen if the subway has a TV. Never mind! Uh, uh, oh man, those things are whipping you. Yeah, they're my most hated enemy. Thankfully, they stop appearing after this level. No wonder you've been dying. Ah! Okay, um, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Stupid thing. Cool your jets! Well, I'm in... I'm underwater in an ice area. Ow! Stop that. Mind... Mind your own business! That's my joke. Anyways, second full health extension. By the way, the, uh... You cannot cheat with the full health extensions having multipliers. The, multipl the multipliers do not affect full health upgrades. It's about the only thing they don't affect. They affect score, how many extra... If you collect a 1-up when you have a times 10, it'll be a 10-up. That almost never happens in this game, but it can happen in Vector Man 2. Rocket time! Whoa! That was cool! And time for another boss fight. Uh, if he'll There appear. it is! It's appearing! I'm a happy pelican! Ow! Oh. I only lost one health out of Wow, that. ironically, the Gravity, Fall ep Gravity Falls episode I wanted to show you features a pelican. Oh, wow. Hey, let's capture it and teach it surf and fly. And waterfall. And... Can... It can't learn. That's one thing that always pissed me off about Pelipper is it can't learn waterfall, which makes no sense. It makes no sense. I had to change my Pelipper to a gold duck just to, so I could use waterfall. Oh, and uh. Whoa, it's a bear! Whoa, yikes. Can't get enough of my sugar crisp. Golden crisp. Golden crisp. My mom calls him Sugar Crisp all the time, that's why I made that mistake. Well, their competition was Sugar Smacks. Or just sugar Smacks. Smacks. With the, Represented by a frog! With the less memorable frog guy. What is it about frogs that people can't remember? Or don't what? like? Is that a waterfall? Yes. Caves! Are those blue versions of those mosquito enemies I saw earlier? They're the same enemy. They are literally the same enemy. Let's not watch some TV. Oh my god. Have you noticed on the TVs the title screen of this game is one. Eh. Oh! Hey, Mark, when I was playing this on your Smash Pack. Yeah. This area right here lagged like shit. Oh uh, yeah. I don't think we've ever mentioned the Smash Pack on on this show. Uh, I brought it up during that uh, bonus episode of Fantasy Star 2. Oh. But yeah, the Smash Pack. <sighs> you only have one pellet of life left. It's all I need to die. I mean, I'll... Die, television! This is the most anti-TV game I think I've ever seen. 
I just love how Vector Man's color changes in response to the lighting. Seriously. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's a shame that people who made this, their company isn't around anymore. You have to hit the thingy on his back, which is a lot easier to do with the spread shot. That looked epic. Aha! Got ya! Triple! By the way. Boom! Ah, ah dang on it. Oh, it's it's very easy to slide off these platforms. Okay, there we go. There we go. That wasn't really anything Walking important, but... through the ice caves, and now I can only think of the awesome ice cap music. Okay, that way leads to the end of the level, but this way... Secret! You earned a trophy. Supercharged! That means I got, like, a lot of points. Okay, these little things admit the force field to that up there. Destroy this, and then destroy this. Oh, level bonus! Oh, you always get that. You end the level, and you go into a bonus stage. There are three, really, I think four of these satellite things. I know where all of them are. I know where... Oh, you press the D-pad to shoot in a direction. I know where all the satellite thingies are. I know where all their shield emitters are. I'm not going to go into all the bonus levels. Now, uh, when you beat a level, you carry over the damage you've taken from the previous level. That's just something that Sega did in most of their games, actually. Oh, they do that in the later Apis Gate games, too. It annoys me. But, uh, if you go into a bonus level, it, whether you complete it or not, you will start the next level with full health. If I lose all my health here, or the time runs out, I... Well, if the time runs out, I win. If I lose all my health, I lose, but it doesn't affect my life count, so... In fact, I can... Oh, this level! There's another, uh, health tower up Welcome to Bamboo Mill! Okay! The, in the Smash Pack, you see these things that are moving up right here? Yeah. They don't move properly. And these wheel things are, like, moving all over the place. Yes, this is Smash Pack Volume 1? Yes. On the Dreamcast. If you own a Dreamcast and you think, hey, maybe I'll get some classic games for it, don't. It, just don't. It's messed up in so many ways. Okay, um... You can't jump down through platforms in this game, so... I have to ride this stupid thing. Uh, I love games that let you jump down through platforms. It makes things less complicated. Oh, I got an extra life through score. Just die! I was hitting the TV. Wow, that's a lot of explosions! Kill the guy! Um... Extra life is over here. Yeah. Um, there is no continues in this game. If you lose all your lives, you're dead. Ah! That's kind of mean. Well, that's one reason to, uh, actually get extra lives. Yeah, this... I mean, this was the first... I knew the sound and everything was messed up in a Smash Pack, but... Like, I did not realize how horrible the emulation was till I played this on it. Wow. Constant, and I mean constant, out of nowhere slowdown. I mean, this game does have slowdown, but... Like, what the Smash Pack had? Oh my gosh. What about was, Vector Man on the Sonic Gen collection? It's exactly like this, except you don't get the wicked cool background. Wicked cool, seriously 80s background, my gosh! It's a title screen. Looks like Vector Man's gonna get saved by the bell. Oh, that was a dumb show. Uh, I seriously look back on the stuff I used to watch. And just ask yourself, why? why? Though I have no regrets in watching some shows. Uh, like... 
Like, I seriously don't regret watching Thundercats. It's kind of goofy, but I really enjoyed it. And my gosh, the Nostalgia Critic can complain about the animation as much as he wants without it being stiff. It is godly Miyazaki-like compared to what He-Man was. Uh, I'm just going to do a save state right here. Saving the game! Let's speed this up. To avoid pain and we're speeding up. Okay, this is a kind of a tricky... Jo ah, got it! Yeah! You only have one chance to make that jump. If you mess up, there is no forgiveness. That's what is I'm... that? The next boss. It's called Clockwork. It's... Not a knight. It's gears with... Every time I shoot it, it fires stuff out of its head. Oh. Uh, eh. I said, let me pass. Thank you. There we go. Uh -oh. oh, yay! Yeah! Victory! 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 <laughs> And now for something completely different. What the heck? This is the second one of these gimmick levels. I just have to destroy these hands. It looks like you turned into Fogger. Hitting these up arrows makes the thing go slower. Hitting the down arrows makes it go faster. Goodbye, Vector Man. Oh, we're back. Okay. Come on, stop going where I can't hit you. Vector Man turns into Frogger. Can he survive the fist of Gollum? Hey Gollum, not the Gollum. Precious. Oh. So, I've been watching the Pokemon movies lately for some reason. Uh, oh, damn it! I do not normally have this much trouble with this level. Um, I, so I was watching the. Like, there's one they put up on Netflix. Is like. There we go. Uh, one of the Pokemon Black ones is Reshiram and uh, Zekrom. And you see Golurk in that movie. And my gosh. Seeing that thing in action just makes me love it even more. Dude, it like removes its... It totally makes its like legs disappear and its torso becomes a jet booster. And its arms become jet booster. It's awesome! Why is its speed stat not that good? Oh, no wonder it can fly through the air. Seriously, it just... At most box. of its bodies... Most of its body turns into boosters. It got a booster pack. One thing they did that's... I'm not gonna say it's good, but it's interesting, is for this movie, they made two versions. The black version and the white version. The difference between them, it's pretty much the same movie, except in one version, Ash rides on Zekrom... And Zekrom teams up with him, and in the other version, Ash teams up with Reshiram, and it's kind of weird. Uh, they also change which Pokemon are shiny and various other dumb little things. Whoa! I'm a car, I'm a car, I'm a cracking car. Tween. Yeah, the Pokemon movies are a real guilty pleasure for me. I don't know, I can't. They're, they're better than the anime. I can't really watch the show, but somehow seeing a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon clash is just entertaining, even with Ash around. That's that's probably the thing. Ash is more of a side thing in the movie. What the heck was that? What? The what? fire hydrant with the beak? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a Swiss army knife for a second there. Well, it could be. I have no idea what it is. Oh, no. It's it's like um it's like a what's it called? Uh it's a fire extinguisher. Yeah. I I said a fire extinguisher with a beak. Oh, right, right, right. You said you you did say fire extinguisher, but in my mind I was thinking hydrant. And uh, actually, from a distance, that's a that's another um thingy uh, satellite thing. But I will not be destroying that one. If you want to go destroy it, go go right ahead. But you'll miss out on the uh, max health increase. Oh! And by the way, that's the thing to disable the shield. It's... 
Oh man, that extinguisher has it out for you. It really does. I will extinguish your robotic life! But you're a robot also. Shut up! <laughs> I'm only yeah. extinguishing you. I seriously do wonder. I guess it's just there, you know, for the, when, when they're getting rid of the sludge and all. It's just there. Oh, the sludge got on fire again. Uh, robotic extinguisher. Can, it's like, I got this. <laughs> Ah it's my one duty. I'm just like, now my duty is just to kill Vector Man! Max health increase, yeah! I was totally not made to kill Vector Man, though, so... I kind of suck at this. Actually, they are one of the harder enemies. All TVs destroyed, yeah! Ah! Uh, internet forever! Screw TVs! Yes. Hydroponic lab. Whoa! That background is freaking me out! What the heck was that? Uh, hold it, sir. Okay. You know, the thing that Claude, sir, is named after. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I was pressing the freaking jump button and he didn't freaking jump. Die, flying insects that are here for some reason. Do -do -do. Might make more sense in Vector Man 2. Maybe it will! I'm sure it will. Since I actually know what the plot of that game is. Vector Man 3 would never happen. Who owns the does Sega still does Sega own this IP? Well, yeah, they they duh. Yeah, the, the the people who I guess they just had one try and gave up. By the way, little thing, you can shoot these and break them. I don't know why, you just can. No reason, just you can. No, Mark, the reason is rollout. Oh yeah, the reason is always rollout. Like the reason I didn't jump there, even though I totally pressed the jump button. It's all because of rollout. Man, why do I keep seeing total aluminum can containers all over the place in every game we play. What is up with that? I have no idea what you're talking about. The, um, the things that, uh, the rings, the aluminum can rings. Like, the the scrolling background looks like a whole bunch of aluminum can rings. Oh, it's, uh, actually, like, containers for sludge and stuff, I think. Die, TV! <laughs> I like bouncy, bouncy platforms. You probably can't hear it, but Vector Man is making all kinds of, like, vo voice clips and comments. Oh, Well... He says things like, Alright, and TOASTED! Wow, Toasty! I totally have... I'm not hearing any of that. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even say, Go, Daddy, go! Hearing the sound effects fine, though. Yeah, his voice is kind of low in this game. It, it's hard to hear when you're playing at normal volume. No wonder I can't hear it. They turned his voice up in the sequel. What is danger? Danger, danger Will Robinson. <laughs> what <laughs> the heck? Yikes! Oh man, I'm freaking out! It's the next boss, Acrobat. Is this one of those games where they show all the boss names at the yes. end? Yes. <laughs> they show all the enemy names. That is so classic. Whoa. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've just entered Balls 3D, the <laughs> terrible fighting game on the Genesis. And Super Nintendo. That oh, Vector gosh. Man was proudly not a part of. Oh, those poor people. The poor people on the Super Nintendo had to deal with that terrible game as well. Uh, I think just like the people in the Genesis, they completely ignored its existence. It's like, whoa, my chest is a bit low. Let me fix that. It looks like he gets fat and he's like, um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave this place. Thank you. Yeah. Superstructure! Another. Max health upgrade is waiting for us in the superstructure. Whoa. You know, I know they're fire extinguishers. No idea why they have teeth. 
Uh, wrench jaws? Wrench jaws! An excellent explanation, Mike. Well done. I'm not being sarcastic. I think I sound like I'm being sarcastic, but I'm not being sarcastic. That's I honestly really couldn't good. tell. That's I, uh... honestly a good explanation. <laughs> I mean, I can see an extinguisher maybe. By needs. the way, not only does my spread shot do a spread shot, it also goes through walls. Wow. That's awesome. It just doesn't go through enemies. Speaking of shots going through walls, they released the full version of Mercenary Kings the other day. Okay. Yeah, it's on the PS3 and stuff. Of course, I owned it before it was cool. I mean, I owned it on Steam. <laughs> And whoa! We haven't seen that power. That up makes a me while. think of the bubble shot from Cave Story. There's supposed to be a TV in there, but sometimes uh, it just doesn't one appear. One of these days, they need to remake that with two-player co-op, and someone can play as uh, Curly Brace. Curly Brace. Jetpack time! Okay, da, da, that kind of looks... Da, da, da. It's cool and all, but it also looks kind of funny. <laughs> it does. And our next max health upgrade is right in... here. Yay! There's just one more. You know, this looks like an earlier level with a different color. <laughs> uh, yes. It's actually the third... No. Yeah, it's the third variation of this level we've seen. So, uh, yeah. And that's... That. Oh, right, 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 okay, yeah. Sorry, no need to go backwards, it's, um... Yeah. You're getting through this game at such a fast pace, yay. And that's the thing you destroy to get the satellite? Ugh, it's nice we didn't have to play this on an emulator. Stupid hot mm -hmm. Stupid Genesis. Stupid, I can blame something! Stupid Sega. Well... What is up with the video signal? Well, then again, yeah, it's also stupid hoshpodge because... Why doesn't it accept all video signals? Why is it prejudiced against the Genesis? <laughs> and... Yes, points, we get it. We get the point! Move on! Thank you. Whoa! Uh, uh, Why does uh, every uh, game want to kill my eyes today? <laughs> every game we play today is... Except for Radio Stories. And that's a game I chose! Oh. I gotta say, um... I didn't think I'd see this. <laughs> Beyblades is a really bad looking show. Gee, I wonder why I wanted to talk about Beyblades. <laughs> I think Beyblades gonna sue someone. Seriously, I watched the first episode of Beyblades and was like, oh! This makes the first episode of Pokemon look fantastic! And that the animation of that show isn't too great compared to other anime. Whoa, that was epic. Can we do a slow mo of that real quick, please? Looks so cool. But that's the music. Oh, that's how it goes. Seriously though, that looked awesome when you're going down here, blasting and everything. Seriously, that's probably gonna be my future self. Because we don't need to do speed up. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. <laughs> Like, guys, we need a response to Donkey Kong Country. The solution? Balls. <laughs> balls. Balls to the wall action. And more balls. <laughs> if you shoot down, you're gonna lay your hat. They look smart. Holy shit. Is that just to help him with his job? They never need an explanation. Because he has a weapon. 
That's it. Um, last time, figure four bots. I can't believe I'm gonna make this reference. It's kind of like I guess you can exchange his parts for different board parts. Oh my gosh, Cubic! <laughs> it took me up to like, because there was this dumb show named Rubik's that was about a Rubik's Cube, and I was like, Cube? Rubik's? What? Oh, Cube? Oh gosh! Everyone. The, oh, you even remember the tagline! It wasn't the tagline, it was part of the show's title. Oh. And there's an advertisement for a GBA game in a magazine. <laughs> Watch, why did I watch that show? That was, a, that was a time in my life when I should have known better. For Pete's sake. Why do we insert the sink? It also has Doc. Why? What's so great about Scott? Great Scott. We're getting near the end of this game. Awesome! Because... Awesome! Just, just awesome. I they were gonna say, just awesome. <laughs> I like the fact that we actually can get to the scenery. Starting to miss those fire extinguishers, seriously. Um, I'm be right in this level of that great. Fire extinguishers will return. We'll have fire extinguishers. Answer these messages. Be right back. Oh, wow, it's the moon. Yes. Boink. That was, it was, and I just got the most hilarious idea. When I saw that lamp, I was like, just thought of the Chronicles of Narnia. It's like, oh, we found it. We found um, a cabinet. Let's, everyone, let's go inside and find a magical land. And then Vector Man walks out. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> on second thought, let's not go in there. <laughs> Let's not go to Camelot. It's a silly place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I turn my chair completely around. Yes, I do. Oh, I feel like I'm... You know what that is, so you know what's in this level. <laughs> yeah, I'm not destroying it. <laughs> But you will destroy all the TVs! Okay, well still... Read, read books, kids! Because I'm going to destroy all your TVs. <laughs> oh, yikes! You were just spazzing out there when you were getting hit. See? That, that's where it is. Go destroy it. Have fun. But that's not what Mike's going to do. No, it is. And that's a much less quoted Jurassic Park quote I just used. What? Um, it's uh, the part of Jurassic Park right after the T-Rex attacks in the beginning. And the, one of the girls panicking and she's like, He left us! He left us! He left us! And uh, Dr. Grant basically just is like, um... But that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> no one uses that quote. They use way too many quotes from, uh... And that's our final health upgrade. Yeah, they use way too many quotes from, um... The Wizard of Bones? The Wizard, the Wizard of Bones, that's the way of putting it. Um, um, yeah, you see, um, yeah, well, um, uh, uh... So I remember Dr. Grant and... Man, is that the only name I remember in that movie? I only remember Dr. Grant because Rollout. I mean, because my Super Nintendo Jurassic Park game. Oh, yeah. You think there's a chance you'll ever play that for the strategy guides? Only if I can play it on an emulator. There's no save part to it. Only flaw, and I'd sadly have to give it a very Wow, good. no passwords or anything? No passwords. Oh my gosh, that's brutal! Uh, 
Yeah, tell that to Blaster Master. And that's no good. <laughs> I don't even know why I pulled that quote out of the mic. Kill the rock bot. Kill the rock bot. In the crock pot. And there's a TV. In the sky pot. I what? Uh, good. More death. That's no moon. That's a space. No, it's actually. A... What the heck? <laughs> oh, if I touch enemies while I'm in that state, I kill them. Really, that's surprising. <laughs> are the only enemies in this game that respawn. When you, man, when you get hit in Vector Man, you freaking feel it, man. Your your body gets flung all over the place. Yes. Wow, you almost messed up. Man. Oh, rainbows! Extra life. When I first found this, I thought, "Hey, it's the le it's probably the uh, health power up that I was looking for." No, extra life. I was like, "Damn it!" Hi, Rock Monster. You don't belong in this world. Uh, actually, I do. I'm gonna kill you anyways. Oh yeah. Woo. <laughs> See, I, I missed five TVs. Oh. Uh, now Mike TV is still gonna be doing his thing. Mike T. Oh, you mean the Willy Wonka character? That's yes, the Willy Wonka character. You should have destroyed all the TVs. Then well, you know, it's funny. In Reboot, there was a character, Mike the TV. That has got to be a reference to that character. Dun, 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 uh, that dun, is... Dun, dun. It's, his transformations are so funny. Uh-huh. Dangly dangly feet. Dangly dangly feet. Kill the TV! Get a bowl of shot. Oh. I like the sound of it. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, a barrel of toxic waste. I don't know why I mentioned that. I mean, it's pretty obvious there were some barrels of toxic waste in the universe. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh gosh! So that guy. What a cheap ass. What a cheap ass cheap. Chicken. Chicken. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm sorry. Every time I look at the borders, I just think '80s. Alright, does Vector Man have standstill animations? Yes. Cool. By the way, if you if you press forward against the wall, he leans. <laughs> That's funny. It's the little things that make it happen. And now 
Now for a pulse of fun. Oh my gosh, the boss re it's boss refights? No. Uh, it's uh, three bosses in a row. Oh no. We got some serious um, paint roller stuff going on right here. Paint roller! Okay, now this asshole took me a while to figure out that whenever you shoot him, he does that and you can't jump over. That is hilarious! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Oh, where'd he go? Oh! And he responds to being hit. I'm hitting him with the boost jump of my jump jets because that does a lot more damage than actually shooting him. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! Ugh. Oh my gosh, you tore that guy up. And... Ah! Monkey! Monkey! That's what this guy's name is. Monkey. Oh gosh, it looks ridiculous. This game is worth playing for the animation of some of the characters alone. As well as Mecha Man's... Uh, Dead. Destroyed. By the way, I have no idea what you get if you win at one of the bonus games. Now for the final regular level, and then it's off to fight Warhead. I have never seen the end of this. Whoa! It's fire! It's a, the extinguishers are back! Whoa! Warhead in the background! Yes. This is another level that really messes up on your uh, smash pack. Because of those. <laughs> and yet, I was able to beat this entire game in a single run on a smash pack. Wow. Why? <laughs> um, I was doing a practice run and that was what I had to go with. Oh, okay. That's the only excuse. <laughs> yeah. Why do you play this version? Because shut up. Because roll out. See? Uh, High shots agree with me. Roll out. I have to ask, why would putting a warhead on a robot make it? Because roll out. Ah! You got me there. <laughs> because he transformed and he rolled out the troops. It's just, work harder, you! I get wait, work harder, you! It's just an endless loop of the Work harder, you! Woohoo! Stop thrilling, you! Ah! No! Stop being... Why is the fire extinguisher so mean? Sludge barge pilots in this level. They were gonna, they were gonna whip out a bunch of enemies. This is the level to do it on. Look at all the cameras. This is the World Link Center. Oh. It's a TV station. Have you not noticed? <laughs> I mean, this is a microphone I stand. I'm standing on. Hey, Vector Lights. Man. That, we have a pretty awesome microphone, but would you mind handing that through the TV screen? <laughs> That's a, that looks like a kick-ass boom mic, man. It's like, actually, with our luck, it would turn out to not be a USB microphone. With our luck, it would turn out that it was actually a crappy stick mic all along. Yeah. <laughs> going down, going up. Whoa! I'm not gonna go up there. Oh, you're in trouble. So, uh, you see that, that, that guy down there? Yeah. 
Why? 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 Dead! Nice! Where's oh, more health? <laughs> well, the end of the level is coming up. No standing animation for you. Ah. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that thing really wanted you dead, man. <laughs> Oh, you got what? And now we're at the end. It's just the end of the level. Hey, you got you got some health back. The level's over. I'm actually gonna die on purpose in the next level. Okay. To get my health back. Twist and shout. Come on, back to man. Come on, back to man. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. You're dead, come on back to man! I think I'll twist and shoot this thing very much. Hold on. Oh no, Vector Man, it's a tornado! Quick! S tie yourself to a pipe! That'll save you! I think the rest of his balls would just go flying off. Yeah! Hey, it's a beast! It's flying! I hear I have to go back through that whole segment again, so, uh... Uh, I... yeah, save state. Yes. You're going down, Warhead! He's the cause of the tornado. Whoa. He's got some serious power, but I've got some serious balls! Oh, you're doing damage to him, I can tell! Ball that hit the dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that may be one of my best jokes ever. <laughs> Seriously. Look at his head looks like <laughs> of course he's running out of it. He's losing his bonus. There's some health balls over there, I can Oh, he's dead! He's totally dead! And those three health balls are just taunting me. Roof. Hanging on a rooftop, shouting from a rooftop. Uh, just give him a fiddle, he'll be a fiddler on the roof. <laughs> Victory! Warhead is vanquished, the Earth is safe for the return of humanity! Earth has a new hero, Vector Man! Congratulations, you have played a great game. You have finished a great game. Well, it is a great game. That's true. Cast of characters. Oh, uh, dude, when this let, when this video is <clears throat> over, I'm Dorian, getting... Marge? Legs? Now, homie, <laughs> I'm gonna kill Vector Man! <laughs> oh, Marge! Sludge pilot turret jaws. Jaws. Why does it have jaws? Because roll out. Because wrench. Beetle. Is that Margie? Yes. Margie likes to pump the air. <laughs> so marine mecha jellyfish angler. angler. Next up. Bosses. Sludge. Sludge bomb. Wow, that was so fast. Aurora Borealis. That's the both of them. Mm. Or maybe the pe the pelican is Aurora and the bear is Borealis. Hey, clockwork. Clockwork. It, it looks like night. a lottery machine. Mark, mark. Clockwork night. It, it looked like a lottery machine. Did you see that? Acrobat. <laughs> maybe it was a lottery machine. Let's see. Okay, first number is your death. First number is bombs. Spider, Spider bomber. bomber. Spider bomber, spider bomber. Jump, 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 jump. Parada. He's the guy that was like. Wow, he could needle something. He could like totally sew with those legs. 
monkey! That is ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Warhead. Warhead. Actually, his head looks like a cigar. <sighs> and whoa! Real life people! Mark B! My name. I should be Mark T. Yes. But not Smarty. Developed by Blue Sky Software. By the way, if you press the buttons during this. During. Okay. Listen closely. Sound effect? No, that's his voice clips. Let me turn it up. Okay. That he just says in the credits. Uh, I, I found it hard to make out what what he was saying. <laughs> Matt McDonald. John Fulbright. Cause why go partly bright when you can go full bright? Sam Powell, produced by Sega. The credits aren't over. <gasps> Good. I need more ammunition. Jerry Market. Ours is good luck, grief. Look at that name. Aratsarina. Gosh. Uh, Jonathan. You, you John. got a knock at the door. Oh. Mike Borg. Mike Borg. I am the Borg. Resistance is futile. Mark Dowson, Ty Johnson, Jeff. Ilya Reeves. I'm sure it's no relation. Ed. Ada, what the? Clint Durr. Game over. Score 67. Oh. Wow, right as I tell my mom we're finishing up, we finish up. And uh, that that was the game. Um, but uh, you know what? Why don't we? Why don't I do uh, the no, not options. Um, oh yeah, start with museum. Okay, da -da -da -da, that's the story. Did you know all the stages and characters in Vector Man were created with pre-rendered 3D models? Warhead's original name, Raster, is a reference to the computer term Raster Graphics. No duh. So um. That was the last little bit of info for you. Yeah. It's uh, good we're going to be finishing this video because now I'm in my right place before you hear, probably hear me off in the distance. Yes. Uh, we'll be back with uh, Vector Man 2 and then it's going to be off to a rather interesting Let's Play of Fantasy Star 3, all in this collection. Oh, we're doing Vector Man 2? I mean, like, before Fantasy Star 3? Yes. Ooh. Okay. See you for that. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.